There's one in a degree here. And um finishing up the uh tier list of company of heroes over a year ago. Um doing the British and I might start doing re tier. Some of the images aren't like couldn't find them. So yeah, let's start off with and um yes. So this is the mortar commandos. I'm putting them in C tier because the British already have a mortar, and you don't really need this. This thing kind of stinks, kind of sucks. It's doctrine too. It's on their uh, air force doc or their paratrooper doctrine. So I don't think it's that great because when you get this, you'll already have. You won't really need mortars because you're already kind of late into the game. Stuart light tank is also C tier. It's only purpose is to be an early push tank, but if the enemies, the Germans, get like a stug, which it counters. This thing's only good versus infantry. That canister shot can wreck like three squads, but you can't really put it above B tier because if it's not infantry, it's shit. Howitzer. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because all their building defenses are take pop cap they take people same with the uh flak the flak 88 which i did rank i'll put this in b tier it's a pretty good howitzer you don't need a doctrine for it so yeah it's the only heavy artillery in the entire game that you don't need art that you don't need a doctrine their bunkers also b tier they're i couldn't find an image so this is a bunker um, bunkers, actually, let me slim out every image. The bunkers, their bunker is pretty good. It's like the same as every bunker, so you can't expect the best. This is the Churchill. Churchill C tier. Churchill is such, a, it's pretty overrated. It comes from one of their, a really good doctrine, the Royal Engineers. It's just, this is the worst tank out of the three. It's not that great versus tanks. It has decent HP, but it goes so slow. That's its problem. It moves so slow. All your other tanks are already be on the front lines before this thing can even get there. Chromo Command Tank, this thing is, this thing's A tier. This thing is amazing. Especially if you get it uh, the level 2 veterancy. What it does is it increases sight range, increases reload speed for all of the guns that aren't a firefly, but once I think you get it to level 2 veterancy, it gets like a 40% reduction on Sherman Firefly. It's amazing. Actually, this thing is S tier. It can turn your tanks to super accurate, high range, good fire, definition of support. And now I'm forgetting that I have Lieutenant. And you know what? I'll tr What kind of looks like them? This guy. This guy looks like both of them. Duplicate it. Okay, so the Lieutenant is going to be very tall. Lieutenant is B tier. Lieutenant is good. I guess. Lieutenant's good. He gives offensive buffs. I'm not excited. And it makes your guys move faster. And if you start getting his veterancy up, he can increase your pop cap. Same with the uh Sar or the Captain. Captain gives good defensive buffs. But you can only have one of them. That's his problem. Britain is very supportive heavy. Like so the these guys are these guys are A tier. If you don't want the pioneers, which I don't think you should really ever get them the Piats, the anti tank guns, because uh, their other one, the advanced repair, makes them the best engineers. So they're good. So their engineers, where are they? Pioneers. So the reason I made all the other engineers S tier is because you can't play the game without them. This is the only one in the entire game where you can. So I'm still going to put them in S tier. There's four of them, meaning they have a lot better combatantness. You get them those AT guns. In the, am I recording? Yes. Wait, am I? Let me go check.
Yeah, I am. I just want to see. Um, yeah. And then the commandos. Commandos are A tier. These guys are amazing for fighting. You throw grenades, smoke bombs. Smoke bomb actually makes them invisible. These guys are amazing sneak units. And they can blow up those bunkers and tanks with their charges. What the hell? Bofors is D tier. I don't know why. Somehow an auto cannon sucks, but it's so bad. First of all, unless you're facing Panzer Elites, in which they only literally have one airplane that comes down for this thing to shoot, it sucks. It's not even that good because they already have the mortar emplacement and the bunker to deal with infantry. So what's this thing's purpose? Light vehicles? Well, it's not like they don't have, like, four other units that shred through light vehicles. This thing sucks. Its range is horrible. It's somehow the same as the machine guns, despite it shooting 20 millimeter shells. Or 40 millimeter. Word emplacement's A, B tier. It just has a lot of range. So, it's easy to target, and it can't defend itself. This is the AVRE. I'm gonna put the crocodile and the AVRE up here. AVRE absolutely shreds his infantry, buildings, and bridges. Crocodile does the same as Churchill, but it has a flamethrower, so it can really do... These These are base destroyers. Next is the Bren Carrier. The Bren Carrier is going in C tier. Um, Bren Carrier can carry infantry. It can carry six, which is a stupid number, because... Why six? There's no, I mean, except for commandos, because you can't, like, put an infantry section in there and then put a sergeant, I mean, a lieutenant or a captain. It w they won't fit. The armored car is also going in C tier. Theirs doesn't do anything special. It's just an armored car. That's it. Machine gun team. Again, I couldn't find the British, but theirs is going in B tier. I don't have any more room. And the reason is, is it's just a machine gun team, and you get it from the doctrine, the commander's doctrine. I couldn't find any image for the Terratek tank, but theirs is going in C tier. The British have a lot of mid units. It sucks because they're some of my favorites to play, but they also have a lot of good units. So Terratek tank is from the commander's doctrine, and the only thing it gets is a, an early game threat. But mid to late, it falls off so hard. And all you can do is get it a little uh, anti-tank gun. Next is the Priest. The Priest is A tier. It's an artillery, and the British artillery doctrine is really good. Especially because you can get those supercharged artillery rounds to hit, like, the whole map. Oh, who's this? Uh, it doesn't matter. Lieutenant. Captain. Firefly is an S tier. Fun fact, it's the only thing in the entire game, you know how most of them, like, this will say, good versus infantry, good versus tanks, good versus building, good versus tanks, good versus infantry light vehicles, good versus infantry that. This is the only one to say excellent, and it says excellent versus tanks. Because this thing is, I, I actually don't think you can win the game without buying this. It's so good. It's so strong. All the British tanks, I'm pretty sure, except for the Churchills get to have a commander come out, which boosts their sight range. Finally, or not finally, the infantry section goes in A tier. They have really good infantry. You start out with them with the sniper, or you can get them rifle grenades for light vehicles and buildings, I guess. And finally, you can get them brand machine guns to make them shred through the infantry. Finally, we have the Cronwell tank, A tier. There, this tank is so underrated. It has amazing speed, a decent cannon, and good armor. I'm actually gonna, uh, I feel kind of bad for, um, but, you know, this is all good. Again, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. Buff the range, and Christ Almighty is inaccurate. It's so bad, it's almost never worth it. Because if you're building this, then what's the point? Like, why would you ever build the Bofors? Terratech tank is almost, is actually D tier. 
It's so bad. Even if you give it that AT gun, it has no HP. It's literally the Jeep of all tanks. It's probably the worst tank in the game. Probably the Panzer IV Infantry support tanks. But this is it. Pre, like... I'm gonna do my research more on what this thing does. You know what? We can do it together. Kron. Little Command Tank Company Zero. This is a little weird, but I want to show you how good this thing is. At base, sight range increased by 5 meters. Firing range of the main vehicle's tank cannons increased by 2.5 meters. Reload time of main vehicle weapon, tank cannons, etc. Reduced by 25%. And then reload time of main cannon reduced by 40% for Sherman Firefly. And then if you get it to veterancy, it barely changes. It's just reload time of the main vehicle, tank can, 32, 5 meters, 10 meters, and 46%. This thing is amazing. It's so strong. It's This thing is actually OP. Why would you ever pick an armored car over almost a 50% reduction in reload time, a giant sight range, and a reload time for e all the other tanks? Hold down. Actually, it takes 75% damage from any source. Holy crap. Britain is so strong. Let me look at uh, British units. I'm going to look at their... Oh, I forgot about Kangaroo Carrier. What is a Comet tank? Oh, this is a different company. Um, Kangaroo would be B tier. It's really good for carrying a lot of infantry and a good armored car. Oh, there's 17 pounder AT gun. Christ, I am so bad. This is A tier. It's so good, because you can turn the gun around. Lieutenant, yeah. What are his buffs? Is he a percentage buffs? Okay, this is his accuracy. More to HP. And Lieutenant, 25% harder to weapon. But 25% penalty to firing accuracy. So it makes him harder to hit. And a 4 plus population cap on it. And another 25 minus percent to accuracy. So he's 50% harder to hit. Accuracy. Accuracy of all weapons increased by 15%. Damage of all weapons by 15%. Removes the speed penalty for infantry seconds and snappers moving through neutral enemy territory without recon. Wow. This firing rate weapons increased by 48%. Reload time decreased by 10. Damage of all weapons, 18.32. I'm going to screenshot this real quick. Because, holy shit. That is a 302 damage per second increase. That is fucking huge. That's why British infantry isn't that great. Cause they have it's cause they have guys like him carrying. If you're seeing some of the weird units, it's because uh, some of these are from Company Zero too. Like, what's a Comet tank? Yeah, it's Company Zero too. Oh, there's a Teratoc tank. This fat oh for shit. Vickers machine gun team, yeah. Where's Captain? Captain. So what are his buffs? What? He's a oh, resource command. Okay. What is this? Oh, his isn't very good. Let me screenshot it, though. I don't know why you can't get only one of them. 20% reduction from all sources. This is for infantry. 50% less suppression from all sources. Constant but very slow health regeneration. British weapon emplacements within. 50% maximum health bonus. Okay, so... I think you should stick them with engineers and put them near your defenses. Enhance command bonus. 20% damage reduction, 75% less suppression, 
15 plus maximum health bonus, constant reverse slow health regeneration, double to the basic command, 125 British weapon input. Holy shit, never mind, this guy's amazing. I think both of these guys deserve a bump from B to A tier. Because I just saw their busted stat. Oh, Christ. Poor Catton. Yeah, this is about it. This is the tier list right here. British is super support heavy. And now with the, my new knowledge of the Captain and Lieutenant, I'll definitely be using infantry better and more. But other than that, I think that's about it. Yeah. See y'all's is 